Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And you have been almost in every reading I've done so far. I've seen the Hermit so many times today. So let's just jump right in and see what we get for you. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Then we have Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So we're seeing Seven, Seven, Seven. Um, I feel like you are divinely guided right now. I feel like maybe there is a... Wow. Behind the Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's something about... You have a very special connection with the universe right now, Virgo. I don't know... Um, exactly you know what is going on but I feel like you are definitely seeing through the sort of filter of everything right now and maybe there's a specific situation that you're kind of navigating where it's like you've had to go through so many different types of experiences with maybe the same person or in the workplace or in a relationship where it's kind of like now you're really becoming a lot more aware of things and maybe with the eight of cups you're getting ready to make a decision here possibly to walk away or go towards um, a situation that serves you more than the current one. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been thinking about this for some time, kind of questioning, okay, you know, am I, suppo am I supposed to just wait this out? Am I supposed to just, um, you know, see if things change or do I make a change myself? I, I feel like with the Seven of Wands, you've been giving someone the benefit of the doubt. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, you've been very open-minded, and I feel like your perspective has been very flexible, but I kind of feel like there's something, something that you're understanding, something that you know, something that you're seeing very clearly that is going to get you closer to what it is that you're really looking for, which is the Ten of Cups. So let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Cups. So maybe this is with relation to a, a person, relationship. Maybe there's a third party situation. We have the Ten of Wands, the uh, King of Swords, and the Moon. So I feel like there was a uh, situation here where it's like there was an unknown about somebody that you were dealing with, maybe an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you could have been really struggling um, with somebody's lack of transparency, kind of like you may have been strung along. Uh, we have the Three of Cups, then the Page of Pentacles, then the Tower, then the Two of Swords. I just kind of feel like something is is crumbling down and that's allowing you to see things more clearly. It's kind of like whatever someone was using to keep you in a position um, that kept you away from I don't even know how to word it, but I feel like someone's, it's like the jig is up. Something is crumbling down. There's no more opportunities for um, someone here to, you know, deceive you. Yeah, I just feel like you're seeing the truth about something. It's just kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. I mean, this is a general reading, right? So, um, but let's clarify the seven of wands. It's like, I don't want to be crude, but you're seeing through the bs of of someone here we have the fool at the bottom of the deck i feel like you're getting ready to take a leap a leap of faith a leap of empowerment a leap of hope like away from this we have the chariot which is cancer six of cups five of swords i feel like with the chariot you're gonna take you're gonna take yourself out of a situation because i feel like you already know that where it's gonna lead you already know where this is going Right, So I kind of feel like with the Six of Cups, maybe this is something that you've been dealing with for a very long time. So it's kind of like you're ready for this to be your past and not your present. Maybe this is about a, a commitment that you've been holding on to for a very long time. Behind the Fool is the Five of Cups, then the Emperor, which is Aries, then Judgment, then Five of Pentacles, then Two of Pentacles. It's kind of like you're asking yourself, how much longer am I going to allow myself to be disappointed right? Like I can only handle so much disappointment. I can only handle so much sadness. I just feel like you're ready to leave something. You're ready to go. I feel like with the five of swords, maybe there's been some resistance from this person, right? Maybe they're saying, you know, how could you do this? You know, we've been through this for so long, or we've been together 
but I don't know. I feel like there's something changing about the way that you feel. Um, and I feel like the universe is saying it's time to be, you know, it's time to be free. And if this doesn't resonate, then don't force it, right? Not every reading is going to resonate. So this is more for those of you that are, you know, kind of saying to yourself, I'm, I'm ready to walk away from this once and for all. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Two of Cups. All right, so we have the Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So maybe this is a new connection that you are going towards. I feel like with the Six of Wands, there is success here in the new connection um, or in a specific partnership. Maybe the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands represents um, different people that you're connecting to. Maybe you're making a decision, right, to leave one situation and go towards another because you can already see that the other is more successful or has the potential to me to be more successful maybe this is about career it doesn't have to be specifically about a relationship but i feel like you clearly see the advantages of one option over the other and i feel like you're finally going to trust your intuition and you're going to go towards the one that is going to give back all right let's clarify Let's clarify the chariot. Where are you headed to, Virgo? Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're headed towards the opportunity or the offer or the situation that's going to give back. That's going to create balance, equality. We have Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. You want stability you want to be respected, you want to be, you know, cared for, you want to be loved, two of cups, there's definitely a connection here that is worth, you know, going towards, I feel like with the ace of swords, you just have this amount of clarity that this is where you want to go, I just feel like you're definitely, you know, it, it's, it doesn't feel spontaneous, but maybe it's spontaneous to the other person, but I just feel like you're, you're going towards your gut, right, you're leaning towards what your intuition is is telling you because but then at the same time i also feel like you have all the reason to feel the way that you do but maybe there's something about this particular moment where it's like it feels right so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one